Okay, this video is going to walk you through how to enable as well as add users for the account track feature on your printer. Uh, first things first, you're going to need to know the IP address for your printer. If you're not sure how to find that out or don't currently know your IP address for the printer, I have some instructions typed up here. Um, just follow one of these two steps, depending on your model. You can do it the first way or the second way. Um, get that IP address, write it down, and then come back to this video. Um, you're going to need the IP address for this. Once you have it, Go ahead and open up a web browser and type in that IP address in the URL bar. Um, so mine is 192.168.1.130. Go ahead and hit enter and it should pull up your Connect Minolta page scope screen. If it doesn't, try a different web browser. Um, Chrome typically works the best, um, but sometimes I've had to use Firefox. Um, Edge and Safari sometimes work as well, but Chrome and Firefox typically are preferred. Um, once you get this screen, go ahead and put a check in this administrator bubble and then log in. Um, password should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit OK. And then we're going to search for the user authentication slash account track. Um, sometimes it's an icon here. Sometimes it's a button here. Um, but either way, it should be pretty obvious which one's which. We'll click on that. Um, if you already have user authentication or account track programmed on, then good. Um, we're doing account track today. So if it's off, then you can turn it on here. Um, if you need to turn it on, simply just hit OK here to verify those settings. Um, and then once account track is programmed on, we'll go to the settings here on the side. And to add users, um, we're going to hit new registration. And then whatever name, um, the only thing is you can't put in numbers. So I'm going to say office just as a test name. Um, you don't have to use a password, uh, but if you do, I believe it's a maximum of 16 characters. Um, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then just retype it to confirm. Um, your output permissions. So if you want this user to only be able to print in black and white, then you'd set the color to restrict um, or vice versa, or you can allow both. Um, your allowances here, if you just want to allow them, let's say 25,000 copies total or prints total, um, you would do that there. If you want to do it individually, you'll have to take a check out of this box here and then put checks here. Um, Obviously, if you're restricting color, you don't need to set color allowances. Um, but if you're allowing both and want different allowances, then you'd set them here. So let's say you want 2,500 color allowed and 10,000 black allowed. Um, you do it like such. Uh, one thing to note is the passwords and the names are case sensitive. So like I did an uppercase O in Office. Just Make sure you remember if you use uppercase letters. Um, again, it is case sensitive. It won't work if you say put a lowercase o into the print driver when we do the next step. Um, but once you're done, you can hit OK. Hit OK again. Um, if you're editing or deleting any, you can do that here. Um, like I'll delete an earlier one just to show you how. Hit delete and OK. And that's done. Um, again, if you want to continue to add more, you can hit new registration here and do it that. Um, important step, make sure you log out when you're done. And then as far as making sure in the print driver we're set up for that, um, you'll go to get your control panel. Um, I already have mine open, but if you need to, you can search here. Control panel. View devices and printers. And then find that printer that you just set up right click and go to printing preferences. And then in the basic tab, you're gonna select authentication slash account track. Make sure you have that programmed in. So I'm gonna do office and one, two, three, four, five, then hit verify. Hmm. Maybe I don't remember, oh, I did one, two, three, four, five, six is the password. So we're gonna verify now. Verification has succeeded. That means you're good and set up. Um, and just hit apply, hit OK. And then if you want to test that, um, you can right click on this and hit printer properties and print test page. And if it prints, then you're good to go. Um, if you want to double check to make sure that um, 
your account track information saved in there, then you can simply go back to printing preferences, go to basic, check it, and it should save it in there um, once you verify it the first time. After that, you're good to go. You've set up your user authentication accounts um, or account track accounts um, and no further steps.